Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Today we are in Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up alerts. So a lot of times you may see streamers that have um, alerts come up when someone follows, subscribes, or donates and utilizing Streamlabs OBS, they make it very simple to set these alerts up. If you wanna know what an alert looks like, look at one of these images here, as you can see, uh, like this one here where it's got something coming up when someone follows, as you can see, a nice little animation, sometimes even an audio cue when someone does, you know, an action on the stream. Now, if you are looking for a full Stream Labs OBS tutorial, I have those and I will link those in the description. This one is going to be solely for alerts. So I want you to go and install Stream Labs OBS if you haven't already. I'll have the link down below in the description of this video. And then once you're there, go to widgets. You're going to see something here that says alert box under widgets right here. Uh, you can do this, by the way, on the Stream Labs OBS app like I'm doing, or you can go to Streamlabs OBS on the website and do it there as well. I'm just doing it in app because it's easier and I want to show the tutorial that you can do it within the app, but you can do it both ways. It really just depends on uh, basically a comfort level for you. So once you're ready to set up your alerts, what you're going to want to do is go down below and you're going to see a couple of different settings. You're going to see one that says general settings. And again, you've got to be alert box right here. First one right under widgets is alert box. Scroll down and you're going to see general settings. So background color, leave the background color to be that bright green color. When you do that, that'll allow it to be transparent and to go on top of your screen uh, or on top of your stream. So think of that kind of like a virtual green screen for your alerts. Again, do what you want to do, but that is, is what looks the best. So I would leave that the same. Uh, alert delay, basically after someone does the action of a donation or a subscription, this delay can be shorter or longer. I left mine at five seconds. Again, it's really up to you. Unlimited alert moderation delay, I leave this disabled. All of this stuff here, I wouldn't mess with except for the layout. This may be something that, that you like. Now, for me, I like there to be an image and text kind of centered there for the alert. You can have an image above the text. You can have an image beside the text. And again, it's really preference here, but I would go with the middle one if you're just getting started. Next, we're going to be able to uh, go in and fine tune the different types of alerts. So as we see here, we have a tab for donations, subscribers, members on YouTube, Super Chats on YouTube, and obviously if you're just streaming on Twitch or just streaming on YouTube, you may not want to do the ones that are directly related to a platform that you're not streaming on, or just to future proof, maybe you want to do all of them. So for donations, uh, donation alerts, the first option here is going to be either to enable or disable them. Obviously, you want to enable them. Uh, text to speech, I'm sure you've seen streamers do this, where basically when someone writes text into a donation, it will be read out aloud to your stream. I highly recommend against this to begin with. Again, it's very hard to moderate unless you have a lot of moderators and people going through these beforehand. I would recommend against that, but if you do want to set up text to speech, that option is available here directly in Streamlabs OBS. Now, I don't know why I said OBS like that. Excuse me. All right, down below, we're going to see uh, right here, you're going to see message template. You're going to see the name of the person and then the amount donated. Now, again, you can change all this. All of this stuff is pretty, uh, pretty good to begin with. And then text animation, you can have the text bounce, as you can see here. You can can have the text pulsate as they donate. I like the bounce one, so we'll go with that one there. Um, images here, this is going to be the image that comes up. If you want to change that, uh, basically just click the little image icon here. You can upload from your computer here where it says my uploads, or you can go to stock files, the ones that are within uh, Streamlabs OBS. <laughs> All of these are really funny. We'll go with this nice guy here, which is the little penguin gif, and then we'll uh, every time someone donates, the little penguin guy will come up up here. And if we want to test widgets, we go to test widget down here in the bottom right hand corner. You can see that right there. My mouse is hovering over that and then go to donation, which is the one we're working on here. And then if we go to our live stream, we will be able to see it. All right. Now that we have our little penguin and our bouncing text there, you can also add a sound. You can go here and change the media if that's something that you want to do. It's set up currently to do like a little like a I don't know what the sound would be. Uh, but if we go here and select that, you can hear it. But if you click on the magnifying glass like I'm doing here, you'll be able to hear that sound. If you want to change media, click change media, go to where you see sounds, and then you can go here and change the one to whatever you want it to be. So 
let's just change it to that right there and then once you've got the sound the image the text the way you want it you definitely want to go down here and look if you want to have like a donation gif if you want to have a donation message settings which will be kind of separate here i wouldn't mess with any of these i would leave those all the same right now and then go and click the save settings now if you don't click the save settings it's not going to be applied and, and again you make sure you hit save settings once you're done with donations go to subscribers go to members super chats do the same throughout here so through subscribers if I want to change the image I'll click the image like I did before go to where you see images and then change it to like this little corgi dog which is really cute by the way and then again once you're done with that go to save settings now once you've applied all of these so let's go to super chat and do the same thing uh, let's go to text let's have it pulsate let's change the image for a super chat to be something else like this little guy here go to select go down below to save settings once you have all of your settings saved and you've you know, customize your alerts the way you want them to be. It is now time to hop over to the editor within Streamlabs OBS. So you're on your dashboard right now under alert box widget, go to your editor. Now you're going to be able to see your scene that you can see with all of your uh, desktop capture, game capture, webcam, like you're seeing right now, you see me waving. Now we've got to go ahead and insert the alert box. And it's very simple within Streamlabs underneath your sources. So as you can see here where it says sources, go to the addition symbol right here. You're going to see something under widgets that say alert box. Click on that one, pretty self-explanatory, and then go to add source in the lower right hand corner. You can change this to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to change mine to alert box two and then go to add new source. Now, once you are done, go ahead and click done in the lower right hand corner and you're going to see it, it puts your alerts in the kind of center uh, upper quadrant of the screen. I'm going to drag mine. You know, normally what I like to do is put my alerts a, a little bit above my webcam. So when someone does something, you can see it there. So now when I test the donation, as you can see, someone donated, there's the penguin. But if I make it bigger, you're going to be able to see that everything that we tested there, maybe you want it to be big right there in the middle of the screen, a penguin come up like that. So when someone donates, it'll make that noise and the penguin will come up. It'll tell you how much they donate and it'll be a really cool thing. The reason behind you wanting to do this is it gets the, the people who are donating, the people who are taking action, these are your most rabid fans. These people get, I guess they get, validation not really validation but they get to take notice that hey they're a part of the stream and the other people in the stream take note of that and maybe it'll lead to more people subscribing more people donating to your channel and again in order to test all of these alerts in the lower right hand side of the screen here you can check whether you want to test the subscriber sponsor donation or super chat like there's a super chat right there uh, all of the, the gifts and the audio that I set up earlier will take effect here now you can resize this like I'm doing here just like you normally would resize it make it bigger make it smaller uh, and again I normally test it and then put it where I want it and you're good to go that's it that's how you set up alerts within Streamlabs OBS if you have any further questions about how to do any of this please put those in the comment section below don't forget to check out my full-fledged 20 to 30 minute tutorial on Streamlabs OBS that will be linked down below as well and I will see you guys in the next video